carp enzyme, right? So this is a poly ADP ribose polymerase. And, and should we talk about PARP a little bit and how it connects with all this? Uh, yeah. Uh, it, what's really interesting is that it works in concert with the sirtuin enzyme. Right. And they all need NAD, this molecule. Right. Ubiquitous in the body. So PARP, uh, there are, are about 15 or so PARP enzymes. We don't know what they all do. We're studying some of them in my lab. Uh, PARP14 looks pretty interesting to us. Uh, so PARP1 is the one that's most studied and most important for this topic and it's a dna repair facilitator and it will go to a broken dna molecule and tell the rest of the proteins this is a problem come fix this it's a marker um, and so you can see it come on one of the things that we found actually is that its activity goes down with age uh coincident and probably caused by lower levels of nad as, as the animals got older mm -hmm. And what we found was that by raising the levels of NAD, the fuel for the enzyme, PARP, uh, that we could restore the activity of uh, DNA repair. Um, and so, yeah, PARP is really important. It's often forgotten. There's a big, uh, a lot of interest about NAD, of course. And people ask me about the sirtuins, but you're the first person who's ever asked me about the PARPs. And they're, they're probably just as important for this story, NAD. So our bodies are actually destroying NAD through PARP sensor tuins, and they're, then they're recycling it back from nicotinamide all the time. It's called the NAD salvage pathway. Mm -hmm.